Well, I bummed you, I do. Oh, I'm very sleepy. It's early and we're about to release a mouse into the field. It's very misty out. It's about 7.30 in the morning. You cold, are you? You're okay there. Look at you. You've got a blanket, you've got a horsey, and you've got Nair. And you're about to <laughs> go on an adventure. Oh, you sweet thing. Release the smells. Alright, we're going to go to Poppy Farm. We're going to Poppy Farm, aren't we? Oh, hold on, it's so cold. Cold, yeah, it's cold. Let's see this mouse. Release him. Stop. Yeah. Now, you ready to see the mouse, mouse? There's a buddy. There's a buddy there. Hang on, this is more interesting now. Hello, mouse. Can you see him, sorry? Oh. Now what's interesting is the last mouse that we caught was a proper live wire. He was going mad in the bath. This one, I reckon he probably would have let me pick him He's up. He's in the box. He's in the box, yeah. yeah. You want to go free? Yes. Should we let him go? He's going out. He's going to go out now, yeah. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye, Mousy. You're free. Not a bad school to do Go, go, go. Oh, mice! Uh, <laughs> this is. Uh, bye bye. Bye bye, Mousy. Hopefully, you don't come back to the house again. <laughs> say bye bye, Mousy. Bye bye, Mouse. Bye bye, Mouse. Good girl. Well, that was interesting, wasn't it? Oh, I've got no hands free. <laughs> oh, goodness me. So, that is the second little field mouse yeah. we found in our bathtub. In. A week. <laughs> I'm not sure why they ended up in the bathtub though. It seems a bit strange that the two mice that we have in our house have both landed themselves in the bath, <laughs> which is good for us because it's easy to get them out. When you live here, you may get mice sometimes, <laughs> especially where we live. Is there's a lot of holes in the house and we're surrounded by fields and it's. It's a natural thing, I guess. You can't really stop it in this particular house. But Jay is in store. We are having a very early morning swing. You're on the ball. You're done with the swing now. So this is what it's looking like at 7.30 in the morning here in Motagua. The mornings often start off like this, very misty and chilly. It's currently 13 degrees out here. Back in to start the day now. Breakfast time. One good thing about this new toaster we bought is it's got this little warmer on the top so we don't have to turn the oven on to warm up croissants. <laughs> yeah, we've got two vegan croissants left over from yesterday that Jay and I are going to have. But we've been trying not to turn on our oven because of a really high electricity bill we had this month. Yeah. <laughs> and we think maybe the oven is the cause of it because it's not a very well sealed. Yeah, it doesn't really work properly. <laughs> no. I mentioned before the landlady's planning on coming here next month and she said that she's going to try and replace the oven for a better one, something more economical. So we're looking forward to that. We can do proper baking. This is basically just a grill in a box. It doesn't have any fan. It doesn't have any real heating element anywhere else apart from the top. So it's a bit useless. Morning! And what did you do about the mouse this morning, Eden? Why didn't you warn us it was there? You're not very good with stuff like that, are you? If you were a cat, you would have brought that to us in bed, wouldn't you? You would have said, hey, I've got a gift for you. <laughs> Hello. Did I disturb you? <laughs> oh, be careful. Story's watching from up on Poppy Hill. It's a nice way to distract you while we make your breakfast, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a nice calming film about waking up in the morning, getting ready for school, isn't it? <laughs> you want to put your toys in there? Where's the BB? I'm not sure. Oh, this one? Is this what you're looking for? You want to put her in there? Yeah, you're going to put him to sleep. Yeah, that's Buttercup, isn't it? <laughs> Your head's in there. It's a bit of a funny position. <laughs> yeah, that's not the most comfortable position for Buttercup. There you go. Oh, it's on the bunny. Yeah, you want to go on your lamby? Let's move this out of the way so you can go on your lamb. One thing I really like about these Studio Jubilee programs is they're so simple. Most of them start off with like a normal routine like getting ready to go out in the day or looking after a farm or something like that 
And Story really likes the routine. She looks at the bikes and the boats and just observes them what they are. Yeah? Do you want a balloon? We don't have any balloons, do we? She's nicely distracted in there. <laughs> yeah. Gonna brew this up in the aero press. Uh oh. Is there a bouncy child in here? There is. She refused me doing this. She only wanted mummy to do this. One, two, three, jump! Woohoo! <laughs> Crazy yeah. girl. Boing. Whoa, that was high. Boing. <laughs> Seeing as we are all up early and we are heading out now early, we are going to the China shop. Do you want a water? Maybe we can do that when we get back. Okay. We're just driving up to Santa Comba Down now and it's still quite misty and foggy up here. It's 15 degrees now, just before 10 o'clock in the morning. It's that nice crisp chill in the air. So we're going up to the China shop to get some supplies. We're going to the Algarve soon, as we've mentioned quite a few times. It's the longest drive that we've done with Story for quite a while and the longest drive we've done with her since she's been forward facing. Now that she is forward facing, we've noticed that she gets irritated more in the car like she wants to get out she wants to see us she wants to do what we're doing and she tries to escape a lot more from her seat so I want to get some things to entertain her in the car so that's the plan isn't it yeah we need to learn this because eventually we're going to drive back to England yes and that's going to be many hours of story facing <laughs> forward yeah so we're just going to be looking for some craft things that we can make some fun things for story so we'll see what we can find right now her favorite thing to do is put things in and out of things like this box of books keeps her entertained oh you dropped one did you oh dear i'll get it in a minute it dropped on the floor did it oh yeah i can see it down there there we go we rescued peter he's back in the box <laughs> okay you ready Ready? 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 Some shopping? Stuck. <laughs> Are you stuck? Come on then. Yeah. It hasn't been this misty this late for a long time. Autumn is coming. Do you want daddy's hand, do you? Oh, here you go, here's daddy's hand. What do you want to do? Swing, swing. <laughs> and hold it properly then, here. Ready? Three, two, one. Whee! Boink. What's this story? Monkey chair. You like the chair? Story's found some balls over there that she wants. Sasha's currently looking at wallets for Story that we can take things in and out of. Yeah, filled with little cards and stuff. Yeah, I know, she's got the balls. And I have found this pool school. It's like a thing that she sits in. Have you decided that's what you want? Yeah? Story's getting a bit tired now. This little dog is keeping her busy. You're enjoying that, aren't you? Oh, you, didn't twist, oh, you have to twist his little thing there and then he goes, wee! That's for a little journey, doesn't he? In the meantime, we've got these cats. Story's been loving cats recently. This can be part of her little play kit in the car. But we're still gathering items for Story's travel toys. We're just giving these a test, seeing if she'll actually play with them. Seems to be going well at the moment. The only problem is when she tips them out, how do we keep them in one place? What do you think, Story? Should we get these little Legos? She knows what to do with them. You can stack them up like that. Are you sniffing the fake flowers? Any smell? Aww. It's warmer now, isn't it, Story? The sun's come out. Oh, we need some sunglasses. I know. Yeah. And what did you get? What have you got in your hand there? Some bubbles. Some, some bubbles, yeah, more and bubbles. Here's that one for Story, and who else? One for Mary. 
Leone. Leone, yeah, one for Leone, good girl. Things are looking a lot clearer now from the same view. You can see further, all the way down to the river. Looking a bit prettier now. Successful shop. With what we got. Yeah, we can start putting it all together. Yeah. Make a little toy kit for her. <laughs> Car kit. <laughs> Go home. Papa did bubbles with you, didn't she? Yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? You remembered blowing bubbles in the garden with Papa? And you've got some for Leone, that's right. And now you can blow bubbles with Uncle Cam. Bubbles with Uncle Cam, yeah, and Auntie Shell. Yeah. That's funny, isn't it? When we were walking out of the china shop, so we started going, oh, proper, proper. Yeah. Just made the link there, it's because she was blowing bubbles with her mum. Yeah, and we got the bubbles from there, and we went there with your mum. <laughs> just show you a few of the things that we got. Alright, so here's Story's little car journey activity haul. <laughs> so we got her these little bricks in the end because she loved playing with them in the shop. We got a little cube, Ruby's cube, just to fiddle with. These little pegs with cats on. And we also got her just a cheap little wallet because she loves playing with mine and Jay's wallets. And we're just gonna put some little paper and cards and the cats and things like that in there. And she can just fiddle around with it and get stuff in and out of it. We got her a couple of new books that we are not gonna show her until the car journey. And they're also flat books. Oh look, perfect page to open on. Her favourite thing at the moment, cranes and diggers and things like that. We thought the pictures were nice and it's got shapes and things that she'll know in there that she can point out, trees and that kind of thing. <laughs> Some foam stickers and also we got this tin that we are going to put the fridge magnets in. We also bought a light bulb for the kitchen light, but we'll just put it in and it doesn't actually work, does it? No, I think, it, I think it's actually the socket that's the problem though. Oh, okay. No, that one turned on, but not the new one. That's annoying. Oh. It's, it's a connection issue. Oh. I've just been fiddling with this light fitting and there's definitely something wrong with it. The bulbs are getting way too hot for these low energy LEDs. We'd have to have an electrician come and have a look at that. And I actually do think that might have something to do with why we had such a high electricity bill. Maybe there's something wrong with wiring in the house. Story refused to sleep, didn't you Story? You wanted to watch a film instead, didn't you? So we're gonna watch Ratatouille because you yeah. saw a mouse this morning, didn't you? Yeah, it's fitting, isn't it? Yeah, a rato, a rato, as they say in yeah. Portuguese. <laughs> last night when Story woke up, we heard her and she went, Mummy, I'm not asleep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> didn't you? The vocabulary is growing. Story's in bed and Sasha is just putting together some fun things. I'm not going to lie, I am actually having fun doing this. You're enjoying it? Yeah. <laughs> Crafty. Shall I show you what I've done so far? Go for it. So we bought these foam stickers and I've just got some little gift tags that I've just done a little writing and sticky on. Some ribbons in the tin. We've got these fun magnets. I bought them yesterday, yeah. didn't I? Oh! Whoops. <laughs> I think she'll enjoy that. Um, just some little cards that have been left over from toys and things, just like little scraps of paper. Got her name on that one. <laughs> just things to find. She'll say sun when yeah. she sees that. There's a little soft strawberry. Yeah. It's a pin cushion, isn't <laughs> it? It was a pin cushion. Yeah, she might like that too, buddies. Yeah. In here we have a bag of magnets. Oh, the letter magnets. Yeah. Which she can stick to the inside of her metal so tin. Bag of magnets, yeah, and the two books can go in this. It's a little activity tin. Yeah. We've got some pencils, perfect size to go inside the tin. So I'm going to stick, whoops, the paper into the back of the tin. So it's like a portable colouring yeah. tin. So I've got all my old little bits of like coffee cards and stuff that I don't use and things like that that she can take in and out. There's a little butterfly left over from a birthday card. And then in this bit, We've got little treasures. So we've got some stickers, some ribbon, there's a little bow there. These items, as they are, 
so we can get them out as the journey progresses. <laughs> yeah. What's going to happen now is she's going to fall asleep for the whole drive and won't play with any of it. Be... <laughs> have to be prepared. We're going to be stuck in the car with a toddler for about five hours. Yeah, so. that's true. You, Portuguese strength. <laughs> <laughs> so you're holding 20 kilos there. How's that lactic acid build up? <laughs> Speeding up. Ta da! Well done. I can officially say that even with the cuts in the video, Sasha did not drop those bottles once. <laughs> Success! Yeah.